Things are getting scarier and scarier the closer we get to November 2024. Just a few months away, the presidential election, where America will decide if they're going to have another run of Joe Biden or whether we're going to plunge ourselves into a fascistic state, uh, suspending democracy and giving Donald Trump the power to be a dictator on day one. And he has a lot of co-conspirators surrounding him trying to make this happen. Chief among them, I believe chief among them, is Steve Bannon. Maybe the loudest mouthpiece for the most subversive forces in our country, Steve Bannon, has his little show, podcast, TV show, whatever it is, War Room, where he sounds the alarm and interviews the most radical individuals in the right-wing power sphere. And in this clip, I'm getting ready to play, about a minute and a half clip, it's him railing against Andrew McCabe, former FBI agent, I think deputy director, assistant director of the FBI, and also journalists. And the reason this is important is because if you attack the administrative state, which is what they call the deep state, if you, if you attack the government and the way it's set up and the way it functions, and also attack the mechanisms by which a government is held accountable, which is journalism, the only occupation listed in the Constitution as protected is the free press. And they're, they're fired up to go after the free press because that is a mechanism by which they will be held accountable. And they include, while I don't consider myself a journalist tra traditionally in the traditional sense, I am included in this. People in independent media are included in this because we hold them accountable. This is a scary clip because Donald Trump listens to this goober, to this convicted criminal, his associate, Steve Bannon. Watch this. Put them under investigation, eventually indict them, try them, imprison them. This, it's guilty of treason. They knew that was a lie about Russian disinformation, just like you knew. McCabe, think of your track record. Why don't you go back at night and just think about all the stuff you've done at the FBI. It's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. Accountability Day starts the afternoon of 20 January 2025. It's going to happen. You have to embrace that. You have to embrace it. Don't, don't be tortured. Don't have torturous conversations. Leave the country. Leave. You know what you've done. Run. Run now. The long arm of American justice will get you, sir, because we owe this. We have a duty. We have an obligation to this constitutional republic to get us back on its even keel. And one of those things we have to do is we have to show the world that we can uh, regenerate. How do we do that? We have to go back to the people that tried to steal this republic, to try to turn it into a fascist state, to try to turn it into a police state. And the media should understand, too, every text message, every email, every lie you told is going to be exposed. And, yes, you're going to be held accountable. If you didn't do anything wrong, you shouldn't be having a torturous conversation. If you didn't do anything wrong, why are you having torturous conversations? You even shot Caitlin Constant and look at the media every day, all the fascists, these fascists know. We are the movement, and Donald Trump is our leader to make sure that this never happens again in American history, and we have to take it out root and branch. I got you, Steve. The media should understand, too, every text message, every email, every lie you told is going to be exposed, and yes, you're going to be held accountable. Every text message, huh? Fuck you, Steve Bannon. You f***ing clown, traitor, scumbag. Whoop. <laughs> Just kidding. I, there's no text. Uh, I'm not afraid of these people. They are bluster. I mean, they are violent and dangerous, and they, they're, they mean it for sure. And maybe if I had a, a weaker constitution about me, I would be worried or dismayed by this, but I am not. One, I have faith in the American people. I have faith in our system of government. I have faith in the Constitution of the United States. 
Uh, just as much as I have a loyalty after having sworn an oath to protect and defend that document. The same oath that liar and convicted criminal Steve Bannon took while he was in the Navy in his earlier years. But this is where we are. After this clip stops, he goes on to ramble about Project 2025 and a host of right-wing psycho organizations that are ready on day one to implement a plan to disable the, fe the federal government, giving Donald Trump uh, unenumerated, just a, 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 an insane amount of power that has never been possessed by a president of the United States. And they've already hijacked the Supreme Court. This election is monumental. It's not hyperbole to say that this is the most important election in your lifetime, without a doubt. This makes uh, Obama McCain child's play. This makes Gore George W. Bush preschool. This is huge, bigger than 2016, because now Donald Trump knows the mistakes of his first term. He knows the type of people he needs to put around him. He needs to go harder and bigger than Jeff Sessions. He needs to go way larger than Bill Barr. He needs true bootlicking sycophants to surround him. <coughs> excuse me, and not just in the attorney general position, but at the SECDEF position, all throughout the government, his highest level uh, aides and cabinet officials will be the worst of the worst of the worst. Donald Trump will say jump. They will, d how high, sir? How high? Steve Bannon will be among them, threatening Americans. What do you think? Let's talk about this in the comments. You can also call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. If I'm the kind of guy who does something that you appreciate and I bring you value, think about supporting this work, helping me make these videos. Click the join button below, right down here, wherever it is. And click the join button. See what's involved. Become a channel member for $2 a month. If that's not your thing, and maybe you're already supporting a creator over on, on Patreon, you can do that as well. Go to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both great ways to help me do what I'm doing. Help me stave off the attacks of assholes like Dr. Phil and all these other clowns. I would appreciate it. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. That's huge. Knocking on the door, 700,000 subscribers, and I could not be more grateful to all of you who are subscribed. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm on social media. If you are, at Dollamore, I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.